You've probably got an odd mix of food that you love to snack on while you're on quarantine. Well, we're pretty sure there's someone else out there who is also into weird food combinations. Welcome to Life's Lemons. Today, we'll be sharing weird food combinations that people love. Keep watching till number one and select from various recipes that you could try during quarantine. Number five, banana cheese toasty. This banana cheese toasty seems so perfect. You'll be eating it as dessert. The best recipe for this would be smooth, sweet mascarpone cheese, along with banana slices and a honey drizzle. Every single bite is perfection. All you need are three teaspoons of softened butter, two bread slices, one half banana peeled and cut, three teaspoons of mascarpone cheese, and a teaspoon of honey. Place butter over each slice of bread on one side. Place the toppings on the non-buttered side and cover it with the buttered slices. Then heat a skillet, medium to high heat. Grill each side for 2 to 3 minutes or until you achieve the desired finish. Then cut it in half and enjoy it while it's hot. If you think this is strange, you better hang on this video until you reach number 1. Number 4. Eggplant with Honey Peel and slice an eggplant into thin rounds for the simple dish. Place slices of the eggplant in a sealed container and pour 2 cups of milk over them. Cover overnight and refrigerate. Afterwards, place 1 half cup of flour and a teaspoon of salt into a small pie pan. Heat 2 tablespoons of olive oil over medium to high heat in a large skillet. Dredge a few slices of eggplant into the flour when the oil is hot and tap off the excess. Place them gently in the skillet and fry for 2 minutes on each side. Remove and put to drain on a slab lined with paper towels. Repeat with the rest of the eggplant, filling the skillet with oil as appropriate. Sprinkle with a little more sea salt over the slices as they come out of the skillet. Now we are down to our top 3 selections of weird food combinations that people love. How are you taking it so far? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. We'd love to hear about it. Number 3. Vanilla Ice Cream with Seaweed and Soy Sauce Anything that comes from Japanese cuisine sounds insane enough to taste it. The same goes for this strange food combo which is apparently a delicacy in Hokkaido, Japan. What you'll need in this recipe are vanilla ice cream, roasted seaweed, and soy sauce. All you have to do is put the seaweed and ice cream in a cup, then drizzle on the soy sauce. In Hokkaido, soy sauce ice cream is entirely a thing. It isn't half bad though, so if you're out of Hershey's, this could be worth a shot. If anything, it's way better than tuna filling sweet pastries. Dare to attempt it? Number 2. Dark chocolate and parmesan cheese in a grilled cheese sandwich. For this recipe, you will need 2 slices of country bread, 2 ounces of dark chocolate, 64%, 6 thinly shaved slices of parmesan cheese, heavily chopped, and cooking oil spray. Lay one slice of bread with chocolate and then parmesan cheese, and top it with a second slice of bread. Microwave for 30 seconds. Heat a panini press, barbecue pan, or skillet. Sprinkle the bread surface and the surface with a mist of cooking oil. Grill until the bread is golden brown and oozing chocolate and cheese are achieved. Serve straight away! Parmesan cheese's salty and savory taste pairs exceptionally well with the taste depth of dark chocolate. When you try this, you'll see for yourself how good the mixture is. Next time, when you have a couple of guests over, we would recommend serving it with a sweet red wine. Now we are down to the first in our list, peanut butter and pickle sandwich. This peanut butter and pickle sandwich was born during the Great Depression, when Americans tried to cut corners according to wide open eats. Peanut butter, pickles, and bread were the cheapest food items to find and was found in the Depression Age cookbooks. For this recipe, you'll need 2 slices of whole grain bread, 3 to 4 tablespoons of all-natural peanut butter, 6 to 8 slices of bread and butter pickles, and 1 tablespoon of pure maple syrup. Place the peanut butter on each slice of bread. 
Cover the pickles with peanut butter. Drizzle maple syrup over the pickles. Smash the other slice of bread side down with peanut butter and there you have it! Getting curious, eh? Give this sandwich a try! So that ends our top 5 weird food combos! Which is your favorite? Do you have any weird food combos that you tried during this quarantine period? Share it with us in the comment section below! Thanks for sticking around! We have lots in store for you! Diverse topics that could inform, entertain, and educate your minds with our life hacks! With that said, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date and be part of the notification squad! And if you enjoyed this video, you are going to enjoy our upcoming videos as well! We'll see you guys next time!